What's up guys and welcome to a brand new series on the channel. This is Planet Coaster. So we have a couple of different gameplay options here. We have career mode which basically dumps you into a pre-made pre-built park and you have to just sort of do park management type of stuff. We have sandbox mode which is essentially a blank slate and you have zero restrictions on your finances or uh, researched items and stuff like that. And then what I think we're gonna do today is challenge mode. So a complete <laughs> blank slate here, but we do have to worry about our finances and we also don't have a ton of things researched. So we're gonna have to put in some effort to get stuff rolling there. So I think I'm gonna go with tropical. I'm between tropical or maybe alpine. Let's go tropical. Park name, I guess we can leave it at challenge park. That's not a huge deal. So for the difficulty, on easy, we have eight grand starting cash. We have a ton of items research. Guest happiness drops very slowly, or sorry, just slowly. Uh, breakdown rate is also slow. Medium, 4,000 bucks to start. Some items research. Guest happiness drops steadily. Breakdown rate is average and ride reputation declines steadily. Then we have hard, which is 2,000 in our pocket. I think we're gonna stick to medium on this one. Easy sounds a little bit too easy. I don't want a ton of items researched. So let's go with medium on this one. So we are going to start with how much? Four grand. Okay. So we're going to have to make every cent count here. Let's go ahead and start a new park. Okay. And we have challenges up here every so often. Park rating challenge, achieve a ride rating of 200. All right. Well, we'll keep that in mind. So this is our starting area play area i guess this will be the main entrance into the park this is i believe like the ticketing area we're actually going to pause it quick just so if we do get any people that want to join in the park we don't uh we don't let them slip away just because we don't have anything just yet what does all this say or maybe this is like beta testers i don't really know what that is but we're going to start things off here by continuing on this little path i don't know if we should keep this Design, can we can we change that? Ooh, we can, but we can't change it very far back. I would like to have it all wood. But if we can't if we can't change it that far back, I guess we should just continue on with the design that's already there. So let's take this. We're gonna make it as wide as we possibly can. And we'll go straight out probably three probably three clicks there should be good. Okay, so this is going to be our starting area. Now, what we need to do first is figure out a ride situation. So we have the Wild Blue. Keep in mind, we only have 3900 bucks to work with here. We need something that's overall a good ride. So preferably something that has everything in the green, but I don't think we're going to get that lucky right out of the gate here. So we have Insanity, which is pretty expensive. I want to, I want to try to keep this under at least 2000 bucks. Swift Eagles is a good choice, except for the fact that not very many people can ride it at once, which will make the queue a lot longer. Let's go with Wild Blue here. We can always move stuff later on too, so I, I'm not super worried about that, but I think we should put Wild Blue right there. So it's out of the way, we can still have like a food court area and, and stuff like that over here. Now something else that we can do is actually change the color of the ride here. So let's make the base of it, ooh, actually, let's do the base of it black. And then the ride color here, what does that change? Okay, that's the stripes. So we'll keep that red. We'll do the yellow white. That looks cool. Oh, this changes the color of the seat. Okay, let's do blue. I think blue actually looks pretty good there. Let's go for the ice blue right there. And we can also change the operator color. And since we did white and red, let's just change this to white and red as well. I should probably make sure that white on the ride is actually white. So we have Wild Blue installed. What we need to do now is figure out our entrance system and our exit. So to open this ride, you need to place an entrance. We're gonna do the entrance as far away from the main path as we can so we can get a nice looking queue. And then the exit, I think we'll try to put right here. We'll do something like that. That looks pretty nice. Okay, so let's go to paths. We're gonna need a Q path for this, so we'll come down here to Q, and let's do let's do the Q path in wood. I think that might look pretty nice. The Q path doesn't need to be 
very big. So let's see here. We're gonna want rails up, railing on ground queue. So let's, ooh, we could change, that's cool. Let's change that. So we have railing around the, around the ride. That looks pretty nice. So we kind of want to twist and turn this. Let's see, should we come out to, let's come out to about here. That looks good. And then we'll start sort of bending it around a little bit, but I still want to leave enough space in between so we can get some decorations and stuff. There we go, bring this around like that. And then yeah, I guess we'll, we'll just connect it up like that. That's a nice looking queue, but now we have to add a little bit, not terrain, of decoration. So let's open up our scenery tab. I want to use only things that are from the tropical region. Being as we are in a tropical environment, I feel like that's pretty fitting. Okay, so let's start it off with getting a couple of green things here. And then up in the front, we could do some palms. We could do a small palm maybe over here. Can we fit that over there? We could put it right there. Okay, I like that. And then let's do a slightly bigger palm right here. We do have a couple of rocks that we can use as well. Sort of decorate it up a little bit more. Now what I want to do is sort of line the front of this with, I almost said pine trees, palm trees. Rotate this around so they don't look exactly the same. We'll grab one more and we'll rotate it the other way. There we go. Put that one there. Okay, how's that looking? Does that look good? I like that. What's the, we gotta check the rating on this. So this is our Q scenery rating right here. We want this to be at least in the yellow. I think it goes red, yellow, green. So yellow should be pretty good for us. We only have 2,100 bucks left to work with. So let's add a little bit more decoration in here. We have some beech trees that might look pretty good. Add one of those right there. And then we'll do beech tree number two. Ooh, maybe not, that one's kind of low. We'll do beech tree number three right here. And then up in the front, we'll do beech tree number two. Okay. And then we'll do banana palms. We'll do one banana palm there. Rotate this one around so it doesn't look the same as the other side. There we go. All right, how's that looking? I can dig that. It kind of looks like you're walking through some sort of a jungle or something like that. What's our uh, rating now? 35, okay, perfect. We just need a little bit more green in the center over here. Right there looks pretty good. We'll get one here, one here, and maybe another just there. All right, now we can take the tropical filter off. Let's look for some more nature stuff that we can sort of put around the area here. We got a, a couple of flowers. That might look kind of nice. Get a couple of flowers around here. Brass vase with palm. Ooh, that actually looks really nice. You know, we don't have anything on this side, so let's put one there. Let's check out our score now. Should be 47. Maybe we should try to, let's just try to get it to like 50 or something like that. We got about 50 bucks left to work with here. Ooh, this is pretty. We got a rose bush. We could do maybe two rose bushes. Is that the plural of rose bush? Rose bushes? Or is it just rose bush? Maybe if we do something like this in between them and we'll change it up on the end. We'll do something like that. And then let's add a couple of tulips in here. Do one set there and another set here. And then the same thing over here on this side. Whoops, didn't mean to place that one there. That one's just floating out in space. Yeah, that does not look very good. Get rid of that one. Okay, we need this in here. That looks nice. We'll do the same thing over here. There we go. What do we think of that? It looks kind of forced. I think it, yeah, it definitely looks kind of forced, but it, it doesn't look bad. There's a little bit of empty space there. I think we're gonna leave it with that for now. Let's see what our queue is at. 61%, yeah, dude, that's perfect. That is exactly what we needed right there. So, now that we have that done, challenge available. Okay, let's check our challenges out. We have achieve ride rating of 200, that one we already knew about. Have 22 people visit your hotels for two months in a row. Well, we don't even have hotels yet, so we can't exactly work on that. But I think we're off to a pretty solid start here. So what we should do now, I think, is maybe start to work on our restaurant situation. So we're gonna keep it custom here. We have, a, we have a couple of different options. We can do blueprints with like 
pre-made stuff. It's going to take a minute to spawn everything in. So this is... What is this one? I think this is like a churro shop. No. These people sell signs. Maybe. Oh god, I don't know. What does that say on the front? That really doesn't help us. I think it's a bakery. It kind of looks like a bakery. I'm not 100% on that. But we have options like that. Otherwise, we have... Adobe shops. I think this is a burrito shop. That one's pretty cool. And then they all sort of have their own little design, but they do cost a lot more. Otherwise, we could... Did I just buy that? We could just buy little tiny shops like this and sort of scatter them out along the path here. Let's maybe try to make a food court area out of this. And then on the side here, this is where we can add our shops. So I think we're going to need a chief beef. All right, so we want to get this in a pretty good spot so everything else sort of snaps into place and we can have a nice grid system figured out. We need something else here. I guess that's food shops. Let's do a drink shop. We have Cosmic Cow Milkshakes. And then we need one more. Let's do another food shop. So we have Chief Beef. What's the other one? There's super, like, generic ones that everyone has. I think it's Pizza Pen. Or no, Hot Dog Squad. There we go. All right, so we'll do that there. Now we just have to figure out how we can get a path from here to here. If I get rid of all of those, there we go. Select grid, we'll select the center one right here. And we should be able to sort of make a grid around these places. Okay, and now that we have that one, we'll deselect the grid. This will sort of allow us to connect these, I think. There we go. Yeah, we just had to do something like that. And now we'll change this back down to 13. Can they get to that, I wonder? That looks like they can there. That one works, and then that one works. Okay, perfect. That looks really good. So these shops aren't open yet. Obviously, they're going to look kind of gross for now. We'll build around them later once we get a little bit more money. But I think we're off to a solid start. Now what else we're going to need is a bathroom. So let's come into here, and let's find the restroom block right there. I think I'm gonna put the bathrooms maybe on the back side because that would sort of get people walking through here. Let's try that. Let's do three, let's do three bathrooms back here. This will probably be our only bathroom block for this entire area. All right, and we'll take a path all the way over into here. Ah, we'll just expand it. We'll expand it all the way out to the end. All right, we have three bathrooms, a chief beef, a cosmic cow milkshakes, and what was this one again? Hot dog squad, that's right. So let's hit play and let's see if we can't get people to start coming into the park. Now we're going to have three employees here. I don't believe the employees on the rides actually count. Let's check what our... Oh, we need to open that up. Shoot. We had it closed this whole time. Ticket price is at $10. I feel like we're going to be able to charge a little bit more than that. Let's, let's try $12 for now. And if enough people complain about it, we'll change it. And then let's adjust our prices on Chief Beef. We're going to do this one at 13 We'll just raise everything a dollar. We can always come through and lower everything back down. Six and six and six. That's not a good number. There we go. 13 and nine. Perfect. Okay, all of those shops are open. Bathrooms are ready to be used. Let's grab a couple of bins. We're going to need somewhere for people to throw stuff away at. Maybe we could get a couple of benches, put some benches and stuff out here so people have somewhere to sit down. Oh yeah, this girl running in. She's excited. She's ready. Now we have to see if they're actually going to go through and they do. Perfect. Okay, so the price shouldn't be an issue, but like I said, if enough people complain about it, we'll have to end up changing the price. That way we can at least get people through there. Oh, we only have 24 bucks. Oh crap. But look at the swarm of people that are about to come in, dude. We only have seven people in the park right now. Ooh, and the other thing we're going to have to change, too, is the operation of this. The minimum rider load, we're going to have full load at all times. Waiting time can reduce queue times overridden when the ride is fully loaded. Let's, I don't, I don't want any of that. Let's not have any waiting time at all. Just get in there, get on the ride, and get going. All right, well, people are at least using the shops. It looks like, uh, lady, can't you walk on the path? What are you, a gymnast? Wait a second. Oh, I thought I thought Lady might have had a mustache there for a second. Whoops. All right, well, we got people queuing up for the ride. Dude, look at this queue. We can go to their 
guest camera view as well in first person and we can walk through our queue and experience it for ourselves and it looks pretty nice we got a couple of overhanging plants but as long as people don't complain about that i think we'll be okay yeah this looks really nice i really like this and then we can even watch people on the ride itself which is super cool ride's gonna lower down here it should let everyone off and then uh this next group of people will be able to go in there or this dude here in the green hoodie there we go people are starting to run in are we gonna get are we gonna get it yeah we are nice okay we're just inside of someone else's face so now we're gonna get strapped in here and we should be able to experience it just as the guests would dude this is cool i would ride this i think this is super awesome it should get faster too i don't want to spend too much time looking at this but you go completely upside down yeah that's cool i really like that one bob posey is who we were all right, well, we got people lining up for Cosmic Cow Milkshakes. That's a good sign. No one really cares about Chief Beef or the Hot Dog Squad just yet, but maybe that's because they don't have anywhere to sit and eat. So let's focus on doing that quickly. We can also get loans. We just have to pay interest on that. I'm going to try to stay away from getting uh, getting a loan out for as long as we can. That's actually cool. I, I kind of like that. They're not going to be perfect. My OCD is just going to have to chill. Especially for this first episode, I don't want to take a ton of time on getting everything perfectly spaced out. But that's good news. People are going to come over, they're going to sit down, start to use this stuff. What we should also add maybe is a couple more bins. I think if we add a bin outside of the exit, just in case someone's nauseous, they should actually throw up inside of the bin instead of on our parks floor which would be nice so let's add one right there maybe another on the other side too just for good measure uh you don't have a staff building staff need to occasionally take breaks or they stop working oh that's right i forgot about that so maybe we'll get rid of one of these bathroom blocks and let's set the lighting to 10 a.m always there we go yeah let's get rid of one of these bathroom blocks hopefully those people don't go inside of it they didn't all right so we have to go into edit building here if we select this and demolish it bathrooms cost us a hundred bucks a month that's kind of nuts let's go into custom shops and then staff management here we go staff building that's what we want right there rotate it around that looks pretty good perfect let's have the maximum capacity be three and then we'll hire another staff member to swap out with these three i think that's probably the best thing we can do for right now the perk staff will be more resilient against being overworked staff entertainment that's just for entertainers uh staff members will gain happiness faster learning resources security office rec room will recover energy slightly faster entertainers and vendors with this perk will make guests they interact with even happier let's do energy actually let's let's run with the rec room that's gonna cost us a hundred bucks to do but let's do it anyways our staff are worth it you know hire staff janitor drop him right here we do need a mechanic so he can fix our ride if it were to break down and then let's grab another staff member right here perfect okay so he is going to basically wait do you have rainbow hair okay yeah i'm not judging i'm not judging all right dude well we're sort of making money let's speed up speed things along here we're sort of making money our monthly profit is is decreasing a little bit i think we're gonna have to take out a loan multiple staff members have a low workload i mean yeah but why is that a problem maybe we don't need ron shipley actually delphine is kind of She's probably the worst employee we have so far, just based on her happiness level. So, in that case, my job is pretty average. Okay, so, how do we get rid of her? Fire. Delete. <laughs> Goodbye. And let's go to loans right here. Add new loan. I don't need anything crazy. I need, like, a grand. Let's do a thousand bucks right there. We'll leave it paused for now so we just have that money in our pocket. Let's do the bare minimum here. Let's do a hundred bucks a month okay so now we can actually finish this building which will be nice awesome okay i think we are done with building 8162 super random number and we still have 757 bucks left but this looks nice and i think people will want to come over here now that it's like a little bit more 
decorated. I wish people would actually walk on the path instead of cutting that little corner there, but whatever, I guess. But we are steady losing money still, which is not ideal. Let's see if people have complained about the park price at all. Ticket sales last month. We've only made $37 here. Missed sales, yeah. Okay, so we're going to have to make this 50 cents and... I'll, I'll say zero. I'll say kids are free. How about that? But it's 50 cents per guest. Help get a little bit more people through here. Really good value. Okay, that means we can bump it up to 13. Huh? We're starting to make a little bit of money again, which is nice. We're still obviously losing money. Our annual or our monthly profit is is going down. But so long as we keep getting people to buy tickets into uh, old Wild Blue over here, we should be set. So our challenges do in fact give us money in return. So one of our new challenges that we have now is achieve a monthly profit of a thousand buckaroonies. So that's something that we're going to have to obtain because we should see a little bit of money from that. Now if we go back and check on our loan, that's probably a good reason why we're losing money, but we're just going to have to let it ride out. So on the next episode, you guys will probably see our loan paid off. And uh, hopefully the park is performing a little bit better now that we have this sort of um, concession stand, I guess, put up over here. So I think that is going to do it for this episode. If you guys did enjoy, please leave a like, leave a comment, help support the dream by smashing that subscribe button. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Peace.